Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple animation for your logo, how to export it and set it up for LaserOS. We'll start off by creating a square canvas and I normally animate with a tablet but in this tutorial I will be using a mouse and the pen tool just to keep it user friendly. First things first, import your logo, set it up, lower the opacity and lock the layer so that we can use it as a reference. The first animation will be a line by line buildup where our goal is to slowly trace over it until the logo is formed. Then to loop it all, the line will sort of explode and we can start from zero. One thing to keep in mind is the FPS you're going to set later on. For me it will be 18, so at 18 layers we will have one second. The other option is beats per second, which can be regular after the animation is imported, so don't worry about the speed because you can always change it in the program. As you can see in the video, each layer is going to be a frame where the line travels farther than the previous one. I only leave the last layer turned on so I can see where the next one should start from and end and keep repeating this process until I have the whole thing finished. At this point, the final line needs to be extended each frame, so I just copy it, paste it in a new layer, then extend the anchor point. Once I finish building the first line, I'll start the same process as before with the second one. We'll start with a small dot as a build up and the line will start traveling and getting bigger while following the logo. Keep in mind that you can do any type of animation you want. I'm only here to teach you my process to make animations that are compatible with LaserOS. As for other types of animations, you could do a similar buildup, but instead of lines, each frame covers a bigger part of the logo. You could have your logo steady and run a shiny effect where each frame, a white line travels through the logo. If you have letters, they can start dropping down until the text is formed and so on. The biggest takeaway from this part of the video is to set up each layer as a frame. Now that my build-up animation is done, I copy and paste the finished logo for 5 or 10 frames so that it will stay on screen for half a second. After this, we need to loop it so that we can start again from scratch and the logo will be built again. I'm going to grab the eraser tool and start erasing parts between it. Then I will move them away from the logo, sort of like an exploding effect. Once my animation is done, I'll need to set it up for export. We're going to use export for screens which can be found under File, Export. To set it up, I'm going to make a new artboard for each layer frame we have, in my case 48. After this, I'm going to lock all the layers and move each layer to a new artboard in the sequence of the animation. This means that layer 1 will stay in artboard 1, layer 2 will be copied and pasted in place in artboard 2, and so on. After we have all the frames in their own artboard, we will have to name the artboards one by one. To export it, it's necessary that your files are named in a sequence where the prefix is the same and the suffix is a frame number. In my case, each file is going to be named Nike underscore and then the frame number. Now it's time to export them as screens. Like I previously said, you can find this option under File Export. In this screen, you'll have to select Artboards on top, SVGs on the right column, tick all of the Artboards on the right, and then choose the folder which will contain the animation. For easy reference, I made a folder on my desktop and chose that. When it's done exporting, you'll have a folder with all of the SVGs. It's time to open LaserOS and import the animation. On the main menu, go to Import, choose the bottom option, Import Folder with SVG Animation. Choose the folder location, and luckily LaserOS does the rest. It will read the prefix and max size. I'll set my FPS to 18, BPS to 160, which I have to set in the program as well, and click OK. If all went well, your animation will show up on the top left, and this is how it looks like when I'm projecting it. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please let us know.